cool everyone we are back doing our oldie drive um, as you can see by the previous test it was not that great and did have some bugs um, I'm sure I assume those type of issues where it tries to go straight on a right turn are gonna get worked out uh, and that so we're gonna count that as the first disengagement it tried to go around that car uh, let's see how it does get in here goes in the far right lane which is good that's what it should do for this route let's make sure it stays in the right lane look it turned on the right blinker look at it why is it turning on the right blinker I think it's because it thinks it's gonna turn this way it's because of the map it thinks it's gonna turn right and it keeps on flicking this thing the the tentacle of the turn left or oh, sorry turn right you always got to be really cautious with beta that, that those are the type of situations that could get really hairy really quickly if you're not paying attention so I ended up doing that really well let's see how it does on this road the lane lines on this road are pretty garbage so he's coming up ahead break at all for those um, yellow lights right there. I'm really glad that's finally fixed. At least there's always a chance it could regress again. But having the the um, blinking yellow lights, having it break every time you go through this was really frustrating. But um, now it's smooth uh, going through that. <laughs> I saw that lawnmower as a car going across the sidewalk. From my car's point of view, I was like, what the heck is happening? Um, that's why it braked right there. It, uh, it definitely got really confused at, with a lawnmower going across this crosswalk. Getting a little bit close to the right side for me, but it's still acceptable. Really hesitant right there. Ooh, okay, so I had to press the accelerator. It was braking way too much. I think it thought um, That stop sign again. It still sees the side stop sign right there. I think it's for us um, I Think that we give it training data when we override it like that. So hopefully that will over several more versions It will no longer do that I'm happy to say that it corrected this issue as well We haven't got there yet but uh, before I kept on trying to go up here and back around this way and so that because well, obviously it was just it's a waste of time um, to go there's a stoplight right here then you have to wait for it and turn right it just doesn't make any sense to go up that way uh, last version swung into this lane right here so that's fixed as well this is wow I don't this is new construction over here I don't remember this being here this is gonna be a big project Okay, let's see how it does at this turn. So uh, later in the summer when this brush is um, growing up a lot more, it's hard to see cars. There is a car coming. So my car kind of cut out in front of that car. It wasn't super bad though, but it definitely cut out in front of it. And the speed limit is 35 on this road, but I wanted to make sure to accelerate as not to be a complete jerk to the car behind me. We'll let it slow down back to 35. I don't really expect anything to, to show and to all the all these at the bottom of the hill down here. I don't really expect anything crazy to happen, but we'll see. Okay, so obviously nothing too trivial on that one. Couple small improvements is what we want to see, and 
what I'm very curious is once we get out of this parking lot and get onto the lane, if that's going to be improved. Um, we'll see you once we're back out. Okay, everyone, we are ready to do this turn. Let's see what happens. Oh, it hasn't started up. Come on. <laughs> Come on, autopilot. That's definitely a bug with this version. It's It takes a while for full self driving to start up. There it goes. Just in time. There it goes, we're good. I just, it's too close to the curb. It turns too wide right there. It might make it. I need to go with a camera and go check to see how close it's getting to the curb. doing the right thing I think I don't know why it's I don't know why these people can't get in the left lane over here and allow more people to make it through the light So the car did that all on its own. As you can tell, well, it's not doing it, yeah, right here it is. It's shading the, that turn lane. That's where it wants to go to. And I might take over so I don't have to sit at this light. This is ridiculous that no one's getting in that lane. Now turn left onto okay, it's, it did that all on its own. Great turn, awesome. Let's see if it decides the planner is better and decides to get over in the right lane sooner. Still not gonna get over. This is where it should go ahead and get over. I'm gonna make it get over just to train it. Uh, to me, it's just too, that's too much unnecessary stress to try and get over into the right lane in this area with this amount of traffic. Like, it's possible, and you can do it, but to get, like, two car lengths in front just doesn't make any sense to me. It'll save you all of 20 seconds, tops. See how it gets over in this turn lane here? Whoa! Yes, that's awesome. Okay, finally they fixed that. That, that, that might not seem like a lot, everyone, but um, that's that's exactly how I would merge into that, um, or, uh, uh, yeah, the merge, merge lane to get onto the highway. It's um, just kind of three throwing out, okay, besides the not turning on the blinker, should have turned on the blinker, but much better. And let's see what it does to automatically merge here. Do you know blinker, and what it does, it just runs out of space. Like, it shouldn't do that. And it wants to change lanes. I'm like, it doesn't need to change lanes. It, I have it set to um, to choose to change lanes, and it doesn't need to do that. I, but I have no way to cancel it. There you go. Um, yeah, so that's, that's an improvement. That's the first time it's ever done that. So this version gives a lot of firsts. It's not perfect. And there are still issues, uh, obviously, but um, there are a lot of firsts that have never done, uh, it's fixed things that it's never done right before. So that's what we're looking for, every version. It, we're always expecting to have a few steps backwards, but as long as there's a few more steps forward, that's what we want to see.
the highway here. So normally I don't have a car in front of me, so this is probably affecting how it would normally get, uh, slow down. It's slowing down good, but that's I think just because there's four cars in front of me. Hopefully it does not follow them. Good. A long time ago, previous versions, so we used to try and turn right here instead of left. See how it does on this turn. I see, like it's still doing this weird stuff. Not as bad. And, like it stopped and checked in the middle of the road. I'm like, let's double check as we're in the middle of the road. <laughs> um, it's not as bad, but it's it's still not great. Um, it's definitely. Again, it's, it's better, but not great. Um, okay, so that drive was, again, it's ever so slightly better. It's not any, really anything worse, not uh, majorly better, but that's what we want to see. It's in the right direction, everyone. Uh, if you have questions for me, definitely put them down in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.